Hello everyone. In this video, my objective is to make you understand what is econometrics and why we study. So first of all, I'll be discussing the meaning of econometrics and then I'll give you three facts with the help of which you can understand why this subject is studied as a separate discipline. So first of all, let's begin with the meaning of econometrics. The word econometrics means economic measurement or you can say empirical based economic theories because without evidence economic theories are just an abstract and might have no bearing on reality. So econometrics helps us to confront theory with real world data. It's a very interesting subject which may be defined as the social science in which the tools of economic theory, mathematics and statistical inference are applied to the analysis of economic phenomena. So in short, the main objective of this subject is to analyze the economic phenomena which uh, with the help of three tools that are economic theories, mathematics and statistical inference. Economic theories include all the in, uh, economic uh, relations, laws, statements. Mathematics includes all the mathematical equations and mathematical relations that exist between various economic variables and by statistical inference we mean we want to infer or learn something about the real world by analyzing a sample of data which can be carried out by various ways like estimating economic parameters or predicting economic outcomes or testing economic hypothesis. So this was the meaning of econometrics. Okay. Now let's understand why this subject is studied as a separate discipline. So the main objective is to fill gap between being a student of economics and being a practicing economist. We know economic theory is mostly qualitative in nature. That is, it is mostly theoretical. So let's take an example of law of demand, which shows that there is an inverse relationship between the price and quantity demanded of that commodity but there is no numerical measure of the relationship. That is, with the help of economic theory, we know that there exists a relationship between price and quantity demanded and which is a negative relationship. But we do not know how much the quantity will go up or down as a result of a certain change in the price of the commodity. So that that is the gap, you can say that, okay? so. So it is the job of an econometrician to provide such numerical estimates or to give empirical content to the, to the economic theory. So economists with the help of econometrics estimate economic relationships, test economic hypothesis and predict economic outcomes. So we can say that econometrics is all about answering how much type questions. Because in this example also we can see that with the help of econometrics we can estimate that by how much the quantity will go up or down as a result of a change in the price of the commodity. So this was the first fact which tells us that econometrics helps in giving the empirical content to the economic theory. Secondly, we have mathematical economics. So mathematical economics, we know that it expresses economic theory in mathematical form, that is equations, without regard to measurability or empirical verification of the theory. So in mathematical economics, we do not have any empirical verification. So let's understand this with the help of an example. Here we have the example of Keynesian consumption function and this is the mathematical form, that is y is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2x. Y is consumption expenditure, beta 1 is autonomous consumption, beta 2 is marginal propensity to consume and X is disposable income, that is income after tax. So with the help of this mathematical equation, we come to know that there exists a linear, positive and exact relationship between consumption expenditure and disposable income. But the thing is, this type of relationship is of very limited interest to the econometrician because it assumes that there is an exact relationship. But relationships between economic variables are generally inexact. Thus, if we were to obtain data on consumption expenditure and disposable income of a sample and plot the data on a graph, we would not expect all observations to lie exactly on the straight line. So, 
the econometrician uses the mathematical equations and modify the equations in such a form that they lend themselves to empirical testing so this is the econometric form of this equation where this term is introduced that is mu which is the disturbance or error term this will represent all those factors that affect consumption but are not taken into account explicitly so such factors can be size of family religion age group of the family members etc so now we can say that why we are not getting a straight line of of the values of y and x because there are some other factors also that may affect the consumption expenditure so this is how econometrics is helping us to empirically verify the theories now comes statistical economics which is concerned with collecting processing and presenting economic data in the form of charts and tables the data collected constitutes the raw data for econometric work but the economic statisticians are not concerned with using the data to test economic theories so who does that of course the one who does that is an econometrician so i hope the three points have made you clear that why econometrics is studied as a separate subject because of its own importance that how it helps in providing empirical content to the theory empirical verification of the theory and also it helps in testing the economic theories that whether they are uh, that whether we can rely on those theories or not so i hope i have made you understand Thank you for watching my videos and I'll be bringing more topics on basic econometrics so if you like the videos kindly subscribe the channel